we're lost in music. <clears throat> I'm caught in a trap. My arms are stacked. We're lost in music. Ah, 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 oh, uh, uh. I look fab. Too bad there's no one else here to see it. You can take all the selfies you want, but it's not the same. I miss dancing till four in the morning. I miss kissing strangers. I miss chips on the way home. I miss spending Sundays unpeeling my eyelashes, reminiscing on events I barely remember. Don't get me wrong. I know I've got it better than most. I mean, the house is big, ceilings are high, the garden still grows. But my parents have taken this whole thing to the extreme. Last time I went downstairs, I found three new freezers. They've run out of room in the kitchen, so they put them in the living room. Madness. It's like completing an assault course just to watch the TV. I don't even know what they've got in there. I told them they looked like something out of CSI, but they just laughed at me and kept loading them up. <laughs> like they're enjoying this. My dad's been reading about bunkers and survival packs for years. He's the kind of person who was made to ride out the waves of the zombie apocalypse, sitting on the couch, feet up, ice cream in hand, chanting, I told you so, every time the news comes on. And mum, well, she's got me where she wants me. She knows exactly what I'm up to every hour of every day. Her idea of total bliss. <clears throat> it's only three months, she says. It's only three years, she says next. Well, ma'am, what if it's 30 months? 30 years. What if I'm trapped in here forever and I never get married? I don't really feel like Rapunzel. What, what if I become the oldest Rapunzel in the world? I tried explaining this to her and she just laughed at me. And anyway, we're a united front against the germs and friends and fun. And life itself. Yippee! Look at us go. I bet you your family aren't as prepared. Despite their protests, I prefer to stay in this room. At least here I can transform. Armed with the perfect playlist, I create my own utopia. Travelling through time, I am no longer alone. I've got the stars to keep me company. This week, it's all about the 70s. Big hair and even bigger dreams. <laughs> Heaven must be missing an angel an angel child mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. heaven must be missing an angel
And I will go down with this shit And I won't put my hands up and surrender There will be no white flag above my door I'm in love and always will be And I know you're sitting on it Oh, such a good track. First heard it on a date. Pizza place, I think. Anyway, she was all talk, 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 talking, but all I could hear was this song. I will go down with this <laughs> Well, by the time I knew that, you know, she'd realized I wasn't listening to her, she'd already up and left. <laughs> now... I only date myself. It's great. You should try it. This generation and their self-care, they're on to something. You know, I can't even remember the last time it was that I left this house. And I swear I've never been better. No one to annoy me. And yet, I have the entire world right here. If and when I want you. Aha. Uh -huh. Four, three, two, one. Ten minutes on the button. Perfect. Right. So the charcoal one is for Tuesdays. Avocado is for Thursdays. And of course, this glitzy gold one is for Sundays. I've it all mapped out. Like everything in life, there are a few simple steps to follow. Cleanse, tone, moisturize. Ah, ah of course. We mustn't forget to rinse. <laughs> And with that, I rise again, victorious. <laughs> victorious over what exactly? Bubble bats. This is what I've become. King of shite talk. <sighs> Did you say something? I can't hear you. Must be water still stuck in my ear. Can you speak up? Hang on a sec. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do that sometimes. To make sure I'm still alive. Of course, no one ever hears. And if they do, they don't give a shit. Sorry, I didn't want you to see me like this. It's just, I can't face going back in there. My makeshift home office, it's the emptiness of it all. It's killing me. It's like my laptop is laughing at me. Sometimes I think I'm gonna fall into the screen. You know, I click away all day, not even sure what it is I'm typing in anymore. You know, I feel like my spreadsheets are just gonna wrap me up like I'm the prey of a spider and I'll just rot away until the time comes for some big hand to just press the lead.
even know why I bother, you know? But what's the point in all this moisturizer if nobody's ever gonna see my face? Yeah, I douse myself in cologne every day for an imaginary partner. I eat perfectly portioned meals. Alone. Outfits color coded down to the hour. And for what? You know, nobody even rings me anymore. That's all my fault. I told them to stay away. I said I was using this time to re-emerge as my best ever self. And I really was. <laughs> Until the weeks started rolling into months. You know, the last thing my mother said to me was, you always did enjoy the sound of your own voice. Didn't you? And I can't bring to tell her. I can't bring myself to tell her that it's not true. I do need her. I need everyone. Anyone. Now more than ever. What are you looking at, huh? Boo! <laughs> I think I'm an idiot, don't you? <laughs> well, I'm onto your game. I know all about you and your sort. <laughs> Wash away the day, isn't that what they say? Fills women on the television with their glossy hair and perfect predator teeth. Nobody sees me, you know. So I thought I'd try you. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I may even sing you a tune or two. <laughs> I'm like a bird, I'll only fly away. <laughs> Fat chance of that happening. My wings have been cut off a long time ago. <laughs> I know I'm alive simply by the evidence I leave. The mountain pile of bills, the... Empty mugs lying around the floor like some forgotten lover's trousers. And we mustn't forget the spoons. Ah, yes, the spoons. Proof that I've had the misfortune of living to see another day. I begin my routine with a freshly stirred tea. I add one sugar, no more, no less, and a drop of milk. And then I stir. like a Zen master. Don't laugh. That's the ritual of the thing. It calms my nerves before I begin the slog. Would you like another coffee to go with that slice of misery, sir? No? For your wife, then. Perhaps a glass of milk. I swear it does wonders for the hips. <laughs> Oh, sometimes I don't know what else these hands are good for. So I serve coffees to people that don't exist. <laughs> Even in here, I'm still in that blasted cafe. The cafe of my mind. Every day around one o'clock, I pretend I'm serving a table of four and I deliver their beverages with a smile. <laughs> Stupid, isn't it? Go on, say it. Ah, oh, well, anyway, I'm almost out of coffee, so that'll have to stop soon. <laughs> I was made for this half-life. I was always the watcher, never truly taken part. I distinctly remember the jealousy, hearing customers talking about their wives, husbands, family, complaining about them as if they were their worst enemies. How spoiled you are, I thought. I've always had no one. 
I'd go to dance classes without a partner. But I didn't mind that. If the eyes are the windows to the soul, then the limbs must surely be the engine. <laughs> the dancing is all that's kept me going. If it weren't for the internet, I would have forgotten all my moves. <laughs> oh yes, don't think I haven't been making myself busy. By the time I get out of this room, I will know everything there is to know about how to seduce the stranger that never comes. As, as a child, I'd, I'd step into the garden wearing a pillowcase veil, <laughs> pretending I was about to marry a prince. <laughs> the flowers were my guests, the crows my new in-laws, and the cat was the ring bearer. <laughs> Uh, it didn't matter that the groom was nowhere to be found. Uh, if anyone asked, I'd say he was invisible. That was his superpower. <laughs> if only I could still believe in such things. Well, we all have to grow up sometime. <laughs> sad when a mother has to speak the words that condemn her own son, but I couldn't allow them to believe that I would commit murder. They'll put him away now, as I should have, years ago. He was always bad, and in the end he intended to tell them I killed those girls and that man, as if I could do anything except just sit and stare like one of his stuffed birds. Oh, they know I can't even move a finger, and I won't. I'll just sit here and be quiet, just in case they do suspect me. They're probably watching me. Well, let them. Let them see what kind of a person I am. I'm not even going to swat that fly. I hope they are watching. They'll see. They'll see, and they'll know, and they'll say... Why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. <laughs> I can see you. I know you think I can't. You walk past me every day, pretending I'm not real. Teresa isn't. Forgetting. Do I frighten you? I remind you of someone, don't I? <laughs> I know what it is now. I'm the absolute spitting image of you! The first time I killed, I was 10 years old. A toad in my cousin's garden. Strangely beautiful. I guess I'd had a bad day. My uncle gave me less cake than the other children. Because I was the smallest, he said. And here is this beautiful creature in the palm of my hand. Perfectly smaller than me. It had to go. Like a rotten onion, I threw what was left of it behind my back into the nether sun of the state. They do that for luck, you know. Or they used to, once upon a time. <laughs> Ladies would throw an orange skin behind them, and whatever way it landed, it was meant to be the initial of their future husband. 
Perhaps that's why I'm still on my own. I don't think I'll find anyone on Tinder call me blood and guts. Do you see that? The way it's locked into the flesh so beautifully. I've got all the time in the world for my little rituals now. So peaceful. <sighs> Psycho killer, kiss kiss it, da 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 da. Psycho killer, kiss kiss it. Oh crap! I only washed my hair this morning. Oh well, not that anyone's going to smell me these coming days, eh? <laughs> oh. Doing a bit of online reading lately, between the daily tours and the endless photographs of overly productive people with their cream cakes and the latest novel, I came across this article about dogs. You know, the way they can smell a hundred times stronger than humans. They use it for everything. Status, emotion, the whole shebang. For me, it's the hands. <sighs> that skin on skin sensation. been such a long time now. useful life. Is that what I've made? <clears throat> Documenting the hours inside. And for what? So that someone somewhere one day may or may not hear my story. I'm like Samuel Pepys on crack. I scrawl away all day, every day. My desperate attempt to stay alive. <laughs> listen, listen. The hum of nothingness rings in my ear. I pledged myself to thee. And what fucking use was that, huh? Oh, piles and piles of paper. They say there's a story inside every one of us. Then why do so many of them go unheard, huh? Oh my God. Look at me. I'm like one of those mad people you see on the television. You know, in the house full of rooms with old newspapers and plastic boxes. I tried to throw them out, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. Could I? These scraps are all I have left. Useless as they may be. They're all I have. They are my Pinocchio. Perhaps I could turn them into puppets. 
That might make sense. At least then I could talk to them. Not just the likes of you. What am I saying? As if you can even hear me. This, this longing, this, this isolation, this loneliness is driving me mad! Mad! I whacked my head off the wall the other day. Oh, don't worry. I had the stereo playing full blast so that the neighbours couldn't hear. Vivaldi, I think. I hit my head so hard I gave myself a brain freeze. And in that moment, I was a 13-year-old girl again, eating an orange ice lolly on a lovely summer's day. But then the blood came rushing hard. And the cellos lulled me into submission. I'm not sure what the goal was. I just knew I had to let it out, you know? Do you ever get that feeling like that your body's burning? You're like a witch at an inquisition. And I knew then that aching, twisting knife of anxiety had returned. Welcome back, old friend. Would you like a cup of tea? A shot of Sambuca? Or perhaps you could help me get this semblance of a book finished. No? Well, feck off then. I'll do it myself because the bells of productivity are already ringing through me, nailing me into action. And half the time I don't know who I'm doing it for or what I'm saying or what I'm doing, but I just know that it's better than falling off into the unknown. That place we don't like to mention. All those numbers coming up on the screen. Nameless, faceless numbers. Who will hear their stories? Will it be you? No. Too depressing. Because we like to build our own books, don't we? And I don't blame you. In my fairy tale, there are dancing princesses, knights of the round table, and glorious flower beds, and castles as high as the clouds. Dum dum de dum, dum dum de dum. <laughs> and I'm a glistening star in the highest window, held captive by a cruel dragon, but help is on the way. Dum dum de dum. is coming. That hero is me. I'm going to scribble my way out. Scribble my way out. Because I won't be discarded. scraps of paper. One, two, three, four, f oh. Now this is the creme de la creme of toilet roll. Four ply, strawberry scented, fit for a king. And this one is a close contender, not as soft, but highly aesthetic. Perfect for spring and summer, imprinted with daffodils. If only Wordsworth was alive to see today.
I suppose you could call me a collector. I have exactly 12,000 perfect little sheets in this structure alone. And that's not to mention the rolls I have hidden in my suit pockets, behind a TV, underneath the bed. You might call it extreme, but have you ever tried wiping your ass with newspaper? No? Well, then I suggest you go out and try a cheese grater and you might experience something like it. I remember the last time. It was at my uncle's old farmhouse in Kerry. His toilet was outside. He had these little squares of the Irish Independent tied together with string. I swear the imprint was there five years later. Now, where was I? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. I have to take stock, you see. That's what I was doing before you got here. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, maybe these should be at the side. Yes. You'll have to bear with me. These things take time, you see. The ancient Egyptians had their pyramids, and I have my... All right. Do you want to know what I'm really doing? I'm building a safe haven. Don't ask me how I know what to do. I just do. It's an instinct, all right? An animal need. My caveman calling. Surely you've built one, too. No? Well, you're not having mine. My materials were hard to come by. Stay back. Stay back. You are at a perfect distance right where you are. Thank you very much. Sorry. I'm just not used to company. My kingdom is my only companion these days. And I sometimes wonder if it will leave me too. Hence all the counting. I call this place my marshmallow world. As in here, I am six once more away from the endless announcements, just floating in the clouds, safe, reassuring clouds, where that man on the TV can't get me. I sometimes close one eye like this. And when I do, I can see whatever the heart desires. The birds seem to sing Mozart. The trees dance like ladies at a masquerade ball. Try it. Go on. Try it while you still can. It gets harder to picture these days. Been in here so long, I... I sometimes forget the shape of trees. I had to Google what my old town looks like the other day. Isn't that sad? One.
<laughs> there they go. Rulers of the sky. No masters to call them home. Glorious pebbles seem to sparkle at their touch. Always hungry. Always wanting more. Like us, but free. The waves seem to move in tandem with their calls. God, what I wouldn't give to be in that sea, the salt water reviving my bones. I'd give the gulls anything they wanted. Don't bother me anymore. Thieves. Thieves, the lot of you. Go on, take my beggar's banquet. To have it all. Doesn't matter. Just please let me join you in paradise. But I'm not looking at paradise. No, I'm looking at the place once known as London. <laughs> Fucking wake up, London. Wake up. I mean, what's happened to you, girl? My tears are mirrored in the oil slick tugboats that bruise against each other on the River Thames. Sleeping off the boredom as I do. And there's this, this window, a cruel veneer, like a, like a tiny crack in a prison wall, teasing me with the slightest whiff of normality. There goes a car. And another one. <laughs> well, maybe they found the answer to freedom. <laughs> switch on the telly and the same old story. I guess I've always been waiting for a revelation. <laughs> As a child, I would stand in my garden uh, on, on a stormy day and close my eyes and ask the wind to lead me in some sort of direction. But life has not got the answers. And if she does, well, she sure as hell enjoys keeping them from me. Because the, the worst enemy I face is myself. You know, fantasies become fears. Childhood gulls become killer. I feel like a modern day tippy hedron under attack <laughs> oh no this is no homage to insanity this is just um life in lockdown i fought long and hard to get my future my parents didn't want me to cut my hair <laughs> I was ready to change. Start living. But life had other ideas, didn't she? <laughs> like a sort of creature in itself. This. moves and grows depending on the weather, uh, food, sleep. Why like other animals? Outside myself. There are actual gulls here. <laughs> uh, bitter, hungry city gulls that, like me, came here to escape the excessive peace and lack of excitement. And there are more of them now too. 
Yeah, it's like the bloody Battle of Britain all over again. They, they dip and dive, taking aim at each other like enemies. One came right up to me a few weeks ago. Well, to the glass. <laughs> he looked into my eyes through the barrier. For a moment, I felt understood. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, at least there's one friend left in the world. <laughs> Made me want to <laughs> take flight and join him. <laughs> but he never returned. Deliciously ripe. The perfect time. Like a king, I sit here. Day in, day out. While the gods of online shopping serve me whatever I want. Pose like the ignorant fool I've become. I eat to stop myself from turning to stone. To be the perfect picture of health. I feel like a portrait of sorrow. Delectable. These have been a delicacy throughout the ages. The sacred symbol of abundance. Notice the teardrop shape. How carefully nature has constructed this beauty. To think, I could destroy this with just one bite. Like liquid gold inside me, I am rich. Even if only in my dreams. I have so much time to sleep, yet sleep I do not. That's the lie, I do try to sleep. Toss. And I turn and I picture all the things I could be, all the things I've yet to become. My favourite fantasy is the one where I'm a lion racing through the savannah. Flickers in my mind. African soil under my feet, the blood of my prey dripping from my lips. Now, I don't believe in past lives, but if I did, I was definitely an animal before I became this. 
before I became trapped in this human mass. Then again, everyone would say that now, wouldn't they? I'm fattening on isolation. I feel it sticking to my skin a little more each day. How much longer must this go on? You said we were free. You said that the price we pay for this existence was ultimate power. You lied to me. All that I have left is the stars above my window. And even they knock. Madrid is crying. The tiles on the roof seem to sob. And I have no choice but to listen. Yet I cannot dry her tears. I have an overgrown child in here, in my teenage bedroom. I keep looking at my old dolls, trying desperately to strike up conversation with someone. Hola Alice, ¿cómo estás hoy? She never answers. Do you Alice? No white rabbits can save us now. <sighs> Mornings consist of my mother's haunting tones. Life has already been too much for her. She cannot comprehend the six by four prison she finds herself in. Then come the afternoons her drunken snoring. This gives me approximately three hours to myself. I try to make the best of it. I quiet my mind and I remind myself I can be whoever I want. With the help of a few tools, I can pretend I'm going somewhere. With someone. mirror on the wall who is the bravest of us all certainly not me I am but a silent follower my fingers grasp for the news each day praying Wishing we could go back in time. But that's impossible. This is not a fairy tale. The clock only goes forward. <laughs> Say hello, Alice. <laughs> the world is watching. I see, te prometo que te daré tarta. 
Pero antes, tienes que sonreír. ¿Crees que soy guapa? ¿Sí? Somos adorables, ¿verdad? Alice, you're not smiling. The world needs as many smiles as she can get now. Don't be cruel. <laughs> Told you. She's just a doll. As lifeless as me. So, back into first position, arms out, chin up, eyes engaged, slight smile, not too much now, not too little either, nothing worse than a dancer with zero facial expressions, <laughs> and breathe in, two, three, four, and stretch to the left, two, three, four, and to the right, two, three, four, and plie. <sighs> That's all for today. <laughs> Don't look so disappointed. How the bloody hell do I do a pirouette like this in this bloody room? Couldn't swing a cat in here. Oh, I know what you came here for. Did I ruin your summer body goals? Well, poor you. Maybe summer 2021 doesn't give a crap. Did you ever think of that? None of it means anything anymore. My old life. I sometimes think, did I dream it up? No, that can't be. There is the evidence. Things that prove that I used to be someone. Like all these useless scraps of paper. Look, see, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. This is the real me now. So you better get used to it. You want to know about me and my life, eh? Well, I do the same shit day in, day out. 8.42 a.m. An hour of rehearsals for a show that never happens. 10.26 a.m. 45 minutes of stretching for a lifelong career that laughs in my face. And by 12.22 p.m. My fucking lycra gets stuck up my ass once again. And for what? To be told I'm not good enough? I've heard all the reasons under the sun. They race through my mind like ants on replay. Too fat, too thin, 
too old, too young, too slow a learner. You think you know everything? Well, what about the dance of the flying fools, eh? I'm sorry, I don't know that sequence yet. I promise I'll learn it, though. Let me come back in an hour. No, it's simply impossible. You haven't got an extra leg, and that is the requirement for this job. Three legs, no exceptions. But, <laughs> but I know buts. Next. And with that, the house lights of my mind dim. The auditorium is hushed to a silence, not even the rattle of that one broken seat in the front row, but I'm still there, an unwitting participant in this tiny little opera house. I have the whole stage at my feet and the universe is watching, waiting for me to finally make my move. Please don't let me freeze like the last time. One more breath. And the piano begins, played by a pair of invisible hands. I can do anything in this moment. I can repaint the whole whole world in a single step. My abusive lover and I embrace once again. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Is anyone out there? My letters got lost in the post, so now I'm trying you. I hope you can be of assistance. Please, don't let me down. This is a broadcast to my love. Un sussurro nel buio per guidarti verso casa. I would sail the seven seas just to see your sweet face again. I would swim the length of an ocean to get back to you, even just for an hour. I would ignore my weary limbs as the muscles cry out in pain. With every extension of these new rules, my heart breaks a little more. My hope drops away like rain on a window. Holding you is a need, not a want, not a desire, but a simple fundamental need to keep breathing. My body is out of sorts with this new way of life. How can I possibly function with only half of me here? You are only the next town over, but you might as well be out of space. So here I am, sending you a transmission. I do not have the tools to deliver you my heart. So I've made you a replica. Please be careful. It is very delicate, as you can see. Flimsier now. She might tear in the wind, burn in the sun. And I give you the moon. (laughs) 
the smaller version is true but it's a copy of the thing that is getting me through delle piccole certezze che sono una benedizione pensare che condividiamo la stessa luna I stare at her every night the way she glows like a pearl in the depth of the ocean she reminds me of you mm. the mornings are the worst no kind face on the next pillow no warm body to hold me close your smell still lingers in the air but it's getting so faint now fading along with the days I try to catch it but it's no use so I rely on the memory instead the, the captured days hang on my bedroom wall but thank god I knew how to kidnap the moments the fighting lasts long as these days no hug to correct the pain I wish I wish I could change all my ways the one you hate and become your perfect person but if I was a magician I would be already at your side oh but you are you are the drama to the beating of my heart my brain is a battleground fighting an undefeatable army but when we get those stolen minutes together you are the night that comes over the hill your armor blinds me and I'm saved even just for a moment when the video version of you says uh, good night my body crumbles and I am a knight no more I'm just a man in this cold dark room I wait out the echoes of my own voice my hands feel useless without you to hold my chest is crying out for the shape of you the way all those here have molded me like this faulty and broken without my other half but the days will be done the sun still shines to meet the earth and the birds are building their nests all around are reminders fragments and signs of our love return when the day strikes and this word is pronounced one I will be waiting underneath that trapeze to catch you to catch you in the ground and we will once again spark up like an old car with its missing parts found Does it make you happy to watch me in my cocoon? Glad to be of service. Welcome to your show.
I'm becoming a thing of splendor. A living, breathing thing. But in order to breathe, I need to break free of the binds I've been born into. Then they'll see. They'll all see. Truly see me for the very first time. A new person. And yet, it's always been myself. This disguise that clings to me like grease paint. Endlich meine Schmetterlingsflügel. Jetzt wäre der perfekte Zeitpunkt dafür. Ich habe mir geschworen, ich würde nicht rauskommen, bis ich sie habe. I'm not an insect. Though I sure feel like one. A tiny insect trapped inside this glass jar. The blue light of the TV. The cruel little boy keep keeping me captive. What he doesn't know is that this glass jar of mine is keeping me safe. Safe for the journey. Shelter for my chrysalis. The first day I spent in here I knew it was time. Like you. I have a lot of time on my hands. Time to rehearse and perfect my dream self. When I finally get to the other side of that window, I imagine the clouds parting and my greatest friends and family all there waiting to meet me. The circus has closed. I can hang up my clown's shoes and walk into the world with a brand new pair once that finally fit